It's your boy P. Don Mega, and we're doing the auditions for the Diary of a Hip Hop Artist. I got my main man O'Neal right here with me, and we're gonna be asking some questions to artists as they come in to audition. You know, different things that are going on in their life. This is the Diary of a Hip Hop Artist, and the key word is diary. We want to get into your life and find out what the struggles are, what's going on with you, the ups and the downs and the turnarounds. Tell us, uh, what do you think makes you so unique? Our music sounds completely different. We come off a little vulgar, but we also send the point at all times. Uh, what makes us different is it's a style of its own. If you ever get a chance to hear it, it's a style of its own. You're going to love it. Right. Off the muscle. I don't write. I just go in the studio and do it. A couple punch-ins. I think my work ethic is different. Uh, my expectations are different. You know, most people just want to get out here and get the ice or get the cars, get the girls, and I'm just trying to spread a good message. I speak the truth. Well, a lot of rappers don't speak it because one, they don't know it. Two, ain't trying to look at it because all that big booties that's in their face at the time. Or three, just scared that the public might not listen to them. Would you say that your activist that you do in the community plays a lot to do with your music today? Definitely, it all, cor it all correlates because activism is, is basically, you know, you putting your, your words into action and you're standing up for something that, that you believe in and it gives you a sense of respect, a sense of responsibility. And when you all transfer that, into hip hop, it makes it all worthwhile. Nothing special about me. I'm a man just like anybody else. I make mistakes, I slip, I pick myself up, brush my shoulders off. I think what separates me from everybody else is that I got a real big drive to help other people. For the most part, everything, every song had, relates to my life to, to some point. There's no fakeness in it. There's, there's definitely. It's me being genuinely me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And not trying to imitate something, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. In your music, what do you find? What, what do you try to deliver? That's what I'm trying to, I'm getting that. As a message, uh, I say my song, uh, My Brain Have Gone. Um, it's just a song that everybody can relate to. Um, you know, just talking about, you know, the devil, the trials and tribulations, and keeping your head up what you're going through and what the next person might be going through, you know, uh, just to let everybody know everybody has problems, everybody's gonna go through something. So, you know, I grew up in the dance hall, pretty much in the ghetto also. I pretty much grew up around everything. So I pretty much incorporate everything that I see that's going on in life pretty much and I just put it in my music. So this is how you really express it. Your, your stage performance is part of your expression of things you actually went through. So it's not, it's not, Maybe some of the things have to be choreographed, but it's it's real. It's not it's not this is not a gimmick for you. Right. I mean, like like you said, it's called show the show. You said the keyword is diet. Right. That's the way it is for me. Studio wise, I shed I shed a lot of tears when I spit some of my lyrics. Sometimes you know my throat tightens up on most of my lyrics, regardless of whether it's it's a hardcore rap song or if it's a slow down mellow sentimental type of song. Though I still let it all out. I don't have anybody to talk to besides the microphone. Really, the struggle of trying to do my music and trying to be taken seriously and be a strong woman in an industry and a genre that really, a lot of times, is not supportive of strong women. Um, I'm one of the people that understands that music is really, pretty much, in my opinion, the biggest media that reaches out to society like as a whole. Everybody listens to music. It doesn't matter who you are, what language you speak. Tell us, start with you, Syndrome. What is your contribution? Hip hop. Tell us what your contribution is to hip hop and, and how you feel about your music as a contribution. We have been trying to put in our own unique wave, our own unique sound into it. You right. know what I mean? Right. Create, a, create our own sound. So what we try to do is we try to blend a lot of stuff from what we took up growing up and create a genre, create a new sound. Right. Add a little, but add a little satire in there. You're kind of add a little fun in there. Yeah, you know, yeah, make, yeah, make, yeah. make rap fun yeah. again. Yeah. Pretty much the same thing, but I also have my own little feel on it because right. I do a lot of instrumentation, a lot of instrumentation. I do a lot of live shows for a lot of different groups. 
I felt like he said LL Cool J. I felt stuck with him. I've hit with R. Kelly. Look out now. I've hit with Carrie Hill. Look out now. Lenny Williams. Come on. Yeah, man. Man. <laughs> I mean, I mean, just just the privilege of being able to do it. I'm just trying to trying to take from that era and put it in my era. Right. And put my feel on. Right. You know, right. Right. And what I got going on up to date. From this All the knowledge that I've gained through the years of listening to music. If you had to spit something right now, we have given you absolutely no notice whatsoever. Could you spit something for us right now? I'm going blind. I can't see past the money and fame. And I ain't even got that shit. That's a goddamn shame. Some people love to hate me. To hate me is love. Only fear one person. That's the one up above. I say pulling off the switcher pitch is perfect with purple and drink. I stay humble, keep pushing and part the pain. I question myself. Will a player remain the same? Like Michael McDonald, I want to be part of the change. People popping at the mouth is just part of the game. A portion of these niggas perfect promoting their name. I'm living what I'm living to the Father we pray. Only know how will we get through every day. Any counting the price of my curiosity. Why lower leaders play? All I see, people are ripping a rap, all a gripe. People are love to see people on my truth. Talk to the poor, we are suffering bad. And I will talk to the poor, me got them pursued. Nowadays, when I hear it, it gives me the blues. Rappers sound like women when they supposed to be dudes. Talking about this and that, you're closing your shoes. You're saying that you make it rain, but I don't want the weather. Want to hear the news, want to hear about real things. Don't fear the truth. If you ain't going to do it, well, let me get in the booth. Yeah, I'm kind of ruthless. Call me Baby Ruth. One thing that you should know, this world is empty and barren and night. Trying to sound grim and deal with knowledge I'm sharing. People killing, people stealing, then that nobody caring. Like, what the hell ever happened to the concept of sharing? As I walk through these streets, I see the pain and the struggle. Cause everybody's trying to become the king of the jungle. Straight out of Austin, there's a crazy pony tick named Animal. I bite your kid's face off like I'm Hannibal. I have a sawed off, you get hauled off. Take your chick to the house and get a load off. I know I'm thawed off, you can't phase me. You want me drinking at your club, you better pay me. You can't play me, I'm so serial. Honey nuts in your mouth like a Cheerio. I wear my heart on my sleeve, stand firm about my beliefs. Pray to stay the same way until the day that I leave. Every breath that I breathe will be in vain. With my glasses down to the last grain, I know the more than my name. You see, pain is, pain is fleeting. And all the folks like what they see, shit's good, but when the mood changes up, it's open season. Mm. Whatever you make them believe the truth, so you better be ready to show them proof when they come asking for the proof. Every word that you speak is a contract. Every time you point your finger, yeah. you got no less than three points back. Grab the mic and break it. It's the killer code, million dollars I'm making. Like Marcus Houston, keep the baddest chicks naked. Thought I told them boys I done pop my trunk on Satan, spit more gang than Sean Payton. Cause I'm going harder. I done hide your plane and sold a dime to Quincy Carter, get money. Yes, I'm getting cash. Swag on point, niggas call me Steve Nash. What I want to know is, who are you? Okay, who are you? Who do you want people to see you as? What What is your goal? What are you trying to accomplish? What do you want to contribute to the hip hop world to the hip hop nation across this globe. Well, we'd like to know, and we'd like for you to audition for the Diary of a Hip Hop Artist. This is a Diary of a Hip Hop Artist audition, and we want you to check us out on the website, p.mega.com. Don't forget to check out the blog that's on the website, okay? Don't forget to download the registration form. Don't forget to download the uh, release form and read all of the directions, read everything on there, and then come on out and audition, all right? Can't be the robotic, kind of like Moss Detective. Yeah, yeah, this is Esau from Track Runners. It's your boy Beasy, too strong entertainer. What's up, y'all? This is your boy Lavish representing WPFG Studios in the Wolfpack. This is Vivian the Revolutionary from Platinum Moss Entertainment. What's up, world? Syndrome, Ministry of Defense for the Legion of Poom. What's up, everyday people? It's your boy Tony Twin, aka Animal, Legion of Poom. What's good, America? It's your boy Six. L.O.P.'s resident asshole, you know, a.k.a. This is get it done. This is Mr. Mio, a.k.a. Luther Grab Draw, <laughs> a.k.a. Mr. Beat Doctor. How you doing, world? I'm young clone the true shit guy. And we're auditioning for the Diary of a Hip Hop Artist. We're auditioning for the Diary of a Hip Hop Artist. You know? We're auditioning for the Diaries of a Hip Hop Artist. We're auditioning for the Diary of a Hip Hop Artist. We're L.O.P. For information about the music, the blogs, and all the commentary, go to pdunmega.com. If you need to contact somebody, go to Studio 512, that's number 5, O-N-E, number 2, at gmail.com. Nah, you unsigned, can't touch that, thank you, hot.
you know what I'm saying? This is the place where you need to be. And this is where you need to get on at. So if you're hot, come on down here. And if you're not, keep your sorry self at the house. And that's real talk.